Okay, it's uh, it's now mid-morning and uh, people have settled in. A lot of the extension agents have come to the office briefly and then they've gone out to the field. So I'll give you a quick tour of the office. So as I said, this is a temporary building that was uh, claimed for the MOF office, um, which is only two years old. Uh, it used to be part of... Uh, Pandai District is only two years old before it was part of the East Ganja District. So all of the uh, government agencies here are new. Um, this is director's office. And so um, uh, director is just coming back from Tamale today. Here is my uh, netbook. This is where I sit most of the time is in director's office. Um, you can see some of my handiwork, uh, some evidence of my handiwork. Here's the uh, monthly staff meeting agenda. So I've been really focusing a lot on the, uh, the monthly meetings as a way to drive change. Um, I brought a, a map of Pandai and a map of the world from home um, because I'd heard before uh, I came that uh, it's hard to come by these uh, maps here. So I brought those as gifts. I also brought, brought the duct tape, which uh, seems to be the only thing that actually keeps things on the walls here. So that's been good. And you can see um, there's a couple pictures of the director on the wall from his trip to China. And I also put up a picture of... Um, a fork in the road, which is uh, sort of a reminder for some of the coaching uh, director and I have been doing about uh, breaking habits and forming new uh, good management and leadership habits. Um, then we also have in here is an accountability chart from our staff meetings. So uh, we have all of the names of the staff and then some basic accountability like showing up for the meeting on time, um, but also some of the items um, from our last meeting that were on the uh, uh, action item list for all of the staff just tracking who had completed and who not, who has not to help to build some accountability. So this is the one um, room of the office and then coming across the other way here we have the other room which is sort of the bullpen for everybody else and uh, in here today we have a bunch of the, uh, the National Service volunteers who have just come to the office and have been assigned around. There's Joseph waving. So they're going to be here for about 10 months and unfortunately I'll only uh, be working with them for a short time. And we have uh, Stephen, the information officer, and patients uh, working on the computer. And you can see in here is um, our tracking for our earned fuel allowance uh, system. So that's one of the, the major initiatives that I've been working on. And then we also have uh, up on the board over here is the agriculture as a business tracking. So this is all of the um, the farmer groups in the area that uh, the previous volunteer Sarah started and now are continuing on so these are the names of the various staff and um, the groups that they're leading and which card in the curriculum that they are uh, currently completing. So that's actually it for uh, office spaces, um, the two rooms, so it's not a lot of space for the total staff of 15 and now we have seven national service volunteers as well. And then uh, in here we have a bit of a storage room where we have uh, pumping equipment that has just come um, and uh, is for a dry season irrigation project that we're doing. Um, we have some seeds and some fertilizer scattered around. This is actually my, uh, my motorcycle, um, which I park in here at nights to keep safe. And that's, uh, that's been a lot of fun actually going around the district on that. And then uh, back here, I'll just be quiet because this is uh, the water and sanitation office. I'll just poke my head and uh, see if my needle is working away. This is where, uh, as you saw from outside, we share the office with water and sanitation. So that's where uh, Neil works. And yeah, so that is the office. So um, most people, most of the extension agents are out in the field quite a bit. But when they're back, um, this is where we're based. All right, so it's lunchtime. Let's walk down. So Neil and I are heading for lunch. And uh, it was a good morning. The power was off for... Uh, um, 10 minutes. Was it only 10 minutes? Yeah. Oh, okay. And uh, but it was a good morning. Lots of people came in and out of the office, so I had a good chance to chat with a bunch of people. And uh, we uh, set up some agriculture as a business meetings, recapped a little bit from the one we had yesterday. I worked on a project management presentation we're giving tonight. And um, uh, what else did we do? Majid came with the good news that he went. Uh, uh, yes went and talked to the uh, school board 
I've always been his idea to uh, build uh -huh. a new library. Uh -huh. and I think that uh, sounds like they're they're interested in helping and, and uh, supporting him, so that's great. We're going to talk more about that tonight. And uh, yeah, so this is the main street that we uh, rode down when I did the, the bicycle tour. And um, yeah, so it's just a short walk down here to lunch. And uh, we will uh, meet you at the lunch spot. So here we are at the lunch place, and this is the uh, the beans, and then we are, <laughs> and then we are putting the uh, the plantains into. Unfortunately, there are no yams today. The uh, the yams are normally fried in the oil here. So uh, so as they finish uh, as they finish putting together our meal. So this is the main street again. Our office is just down there on the left, and uh, just up here in the next building is the um, the tailors, my tailor friends, who have been making. Uh, uh, making shirts for me. I don't know if you can see them there or not. Uh, maybe just barely. And then over on the other side of the street is uh, there's some lumber stacked over here, and that is where I bought some of the wood for um, uh, for the children's toys we are making. So this is uh, our uh, favorite lunch spot with the uh, the beans in the pot and uh, this is where they cook the yams although there are no yams today and uh, one of my greatest challenges um, of my placement has been trying to get this little boy uh, not to be scared of me so he always smiles but then when I get close he is always very scared so I don't know why I don't know why he's scared but oh he's getting better now he's not so scared that's good <laughs> uh oh uh oh <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hello. 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 Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> okay. So, so now we will. Uh, okay. Here's Neil. Neil is complaining that it is. Uh, he has bought two thousand beans, which is about uh, a little less than twenty cents. And uh, <laughs> and I have bought uh, my. Uh, my beans and plantains. This is about, I think, uh, 50 cents for lunch. So uh, there we go, our favorite lunch spot and uh, one of my biggest challenges of my placement that I'm still working on. He looks like he's warming up though, so there we go. <laughs> uh, this is a good shot of, uh, of uh, road safety, uh, Fendi style. This is a lightly, lightly loaded tro. Um, still lots of room to, uh, to add more people and stuff to that, obviously. So we were just stopping off here on the way back from uh, stopping off here on the way back from uh, lunch at our friends uh, Malik and Rowan's tailor uh, operation, the best tailors in Pandai, uh, responsible for. Yeah, is a, you're the best, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you see, is my handy is his handiwork. You see, this is the. Uh, is the uh, my farmer's day shirt? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look oh, how, it's nice. Look how well that is all. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> so that was uh, that was uh, Malik who sold this one, and then is his uh, his yeah, brother uh, Rowan here too. He's talking. And he's going to make a video. And so you can say hello to Canada. Say hello to Canada. I, I'm promoting your 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 business in Canada. So they take they take oh, mail order. Mark, no, <laughs> <laughs> you see, and, and he uh, he saw the shirt on me, uh? and then he said it was so nice that he made one for himself. Sure, sure, sure. I was the first one to There we go. So we were stopping off small on the way back from lunch, and uh, yeah, and then now it's uh, it's back to the office for uh, for the rest of the day of work. Okay, now it's time for my uh, bathroom break. There's the office there, and I've come around uh, around the corner here, and then uh, this is the uh, the office bathroom or office urinal. I actually don't know what would happen if I had to go um, number two here, but. Uh, so far I've been lucky and been able to make it home all the time. So anyway, here is the urinal with people walking past as the Oberni uh, goes to the bathroom. I just want to introduce, um, we have just finished a meeting about uh, with some of the leaders in the community of Pandai. Um, and they all have uh, dreams that they, are, they want to, to see happen in the community. And so we have just finished a, a meeting where we have talked about uh, project management skills and how we, how we make steps as leaders to help uh, turn ideas into realities. 
So I think it was a good meeting, but now people are hungry and it's, it's time to stop. So, <laughs> so thank you all very much, and and uh, and I think that is good for tonight. So continuing on with our our day in the life, um, Aaron has come from uh, from Tamale today. So I am not the only Alberni Bruni in the district. Um, so now we are both attracting a lot of attention. So it doesn't really matter that I'm holding up a camera and talking, because it looks like I'm talking to her. And that's actually kind of better. <laughs> so we have just finished uh, our work day, and uh, Aaron rode into town with my director. So tomorrow we have a big staff meeting and a very busy day. And then uh, Aaron is going to stay tonight and tomorrow night, and then she's going back. And we are just walking to Chop Better, which is the uh, closest thing to Chop Betta, which I think is the. Uh, the closest thing we have to a restaurant in town and we are going to have a star beer and talk about um, many important things and work very hard <laughs> and uh, yeah so this is the end of the work day in Ghana hello hello all right okay so we were walking to the restaurant and we saw these kids play this game and so we wanted to capture Last time they actually moved the line as well, so I don't know exactly how, how the game works, but, but they seem to be more interested in the video than in the than in moving the line. So, all right, wave, wave, hello. Can you wave? Hello. Say hello to Canada. Hello. 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 Oh, look at this one. <laughs> ah, hello. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Hello. And now to uh, to end off the day, we are here in uh, in front of our house, and uh, our normal group of children has come, and they are playing the uh, I think it's a typing game tonight. It's normally a math game, and uh, Neil is is controlling the action, and he is making sure that they behave and that they take their turns. But I think that everyone is having fun. <laughs> so it's a nice way to, to end off a long but uh, very nice day. And so uh, goodbye from uh, Northern Ghana.